What's up, everybody? I'm Marina Feinemann with your buzz from New York Fashion Week. Richard Chai has been nicknamed the Boy Wonder and started showing his own collection here in the tents in 2004. That same year, People Magazine named him the sexiest new designer, a very appropriate title since he's known for very sexy and elegant garments. Let's see what's in store for spring. So what kind of woman do you envision when you design this collection? Um, well, I really design for a woman that's not certainly not age specific, but it's more about a spirit um, and the kind of characteristics of a woman. And she's really kind of sophisticated and intelligent about her choices in, in clothes. And she's certainly someone that's um, educated when it comes to fashion. And I noticed you like to use a very neutral palette, a lot of ivories and a lot of light sheer colors. Any particular reason? Well, I, I, to be quite honest, I always love working in contrast, and the idea of using that something that quite muted and subtle and then contrasting it with something that's like the electric blue that came out or that really bright magenta rouge or kind of the really bold um, colored prints that came out at the very end of the show or even mixing in very pastel colors throughout the neutrals. I always love kind of mixing things up that way. And that leads me to my next question. You like to layer, to mix a lot of stuff. Is, is that makes it a lot easier to just mix and match all the pieces from your collection? Well, I think it's really more about the idea that, you know, there's not really one way to dress and the idea to mix things up keeps things eclectic, you know. I never like to kind of dictate things and say this is the way it is. It's more about presenting an idea and saying, you know, why not? You know, why not lay your dress over a skirt? Was there a central concept or theme throughout this show? Was there any inspiration? Well, I think, you know, for me it's always an evolution of my own kind of sensibility and my aesthetic, but, you know, there's certainly inspirations. I mean, this season it was drawn from the artist Lee Bontecu, and she does these amazing sculptures that are really chaotic but at the same time really meticulous and she uses all these different kinds of materials in her sculptures and I just love the idea of that in my collection you know mixing things that are transparent with things that are opaque or kind of mixing all these different prints together. And you recently launched a collection for Target and a lot of designers have been doing that recently. Do you think it makes fashion a lot more accessible to a wide range of consumers? Absolutely. I mean for me that experience was incredible and to be able to work with such an incredible company like Target and really put my, my aesthetic out there to the masses was unbelievable. I mean, what I do for my own company hits a, certainly a smaller demographic, but to be able to do a line that hits you know, thousands and thousands of stores with thousands of units is amazing, and to see people on the street wearing it is always a bit, you know... A bit complicated. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> so what's next for the Richard Tai brand? Well, I, I just recently started menswear, um, and I'm really enjoying that. So, um, you know, everything I do is quite organic, and it's just about doing things when they feel right. So, men's, women's, you know. Who knows Accessories. What's next? Yeah, who knows what's next? That's the fun of being a designer, really. And that's the buzz from New York Fashion Week. Check right back here for more designer interviews and runway coverage. I'm Marina Feynman for NBC Mobile.